Here's a little project I've been working on for my Ducati Street Fighter. Um, it's actually a side project. I, I pulled apart the headlight um, unit so I can install a projector HID. And inside the head, headlight unit there is these daytime running lights. That's these guys right here. Um, and I thought it would be kind of neat if while I was in there to try and do a turn signal integration. Um, so I got to researching on Google and, and landed on a YouTube page um, where some fellow has done exactly that. Uh, I'll link to his video and his code uh, in my video info. Um, but uh, what he's done is he's taken an Arduino Nano clone, uh, very, very cheap, a couple bucks, and uh, he's leveraging several of uh, the digital inputs and outputs and the two interrupt pins. and. Um, so uh, all of this is going over here to the triggers. Um, so this is all, of course, run on 5 volts. Um, all I'm doing is uh, through these switches here, these four switches that you probably can't see too well, um, is just passing 5 volts through this capacitor, and uh, that's it, into these uh, inputs. And so uh, what it effectively does is um, it can do hazard lights, which are animated, uh, left turn signal, right turn signal, and daytime running lights. And it uh, also does the Knight Rider kit, you know, floating red light uh, going back and forth. Um, so what I have here on the output is, um, these are the originals. And so these just got, you know, 12 volts from the, you know, motorcycle charging system. They're just white LEDs and that's that. And they work fine. Um, but I can make it better. So uh, what I've done is I'm using some high density 144 LED per meter um, strips of uh, WS2812 RGB LEDs. And uh, so I've cut them down to uh, 10 LED strips, two of them, and wired on or soldered on new wires. And so that's this is the output of the Arduino that's feeding those. Um, so I'll go ahead and power it on. And so these are the daytime running lights. Um, this is about midway brightness. It can get a, a fair bit brighter. So um, here is the Knight Rider kit light. That's all it does. I would love to be able to make one light just go across both of them back and forth like a Battlestar Galactica Cylon. That would be better. Back to daytime running lights, and then so here are the turn signals. Here's the left, here's right, and once you let go, it goes back to daytime driving lights. Uh, this would also work if I was on the kit mode. I do left turn signal, right turn signal. And it goes back to kit. So, um, this module here is uh, what I'm using to be able to leverage 12 volt triggers. Um, so this is the blinker signal from that goes to the factory blinker on the motorcycle. Um, obviously, I can't pump that 12 volts directly into the Arduino; it would blow up. So I have to use what's called an opto coupler, and I got this board. Uh, that makes using them a lot more convenient. There's a total of four of them on there, and you can liken them to relays uh, in a way. Um, I'll not dive too deeply into that, but basically you feed 12 volts in this side or a range of uh, DC voltage, and um, you can you, uh, switch these outputs, basically. So um, what I've done here is... Uh, Turn on my power supply. There's 13 and a half volts DC going through this, and then that's now able to trigger optically through here um, the Arduino to trigger, and likewise for the right turn signal. And that's that. Uh, one last problem that I've been battling is. Uh, as these are RGB LEDs, um, in order for them to produce white, they need to all be on uh, red, green, and blue to the same value. Um, and that's fine, except when the LEDs are naked or not diffused, um, and they sit behind a prism, 
you're going to get rainbow reflections and shining. And I don't really particularly care for that. So um, I've been trying to figure out ways using stuff I have laying around to diffuse these LEDs. And um, I think that's the key to success. And in fact, the thing that I've settled on after trying parchment paper and um, uh, I forget what the other one's called, uh, wax paper, cooking paper, um, and was uh, vellum. Um, I bought some of this stuff a while back to do uh, greeting cards for uh, my wife, for my, my wedding. And um, so I have a thin layer, actually two layers of vellum um, sitting on top of, of the LEDs here. And that quells pretty much all of the uh, RGB reflections and now everything's much more uniformly white. Um, I can still see a hint of green, but uh, overall not bad, totally acceptable. And so, to physically do this, what I've had to do is, again, these are the originals. I just traced this out onto a piece of very thin aluminum. And now I have a template. There's the raw LEDs. Off. And so there it is. It's just a high-density LED strip. Um, that I've stuck down here, and I'll probably do a little dab of super glue just to be sure uh, it fits right into its place. And then I have these little vellum strips. Of course, I won't be able to pick up now. That sit right on top of it, like so. And then that kills all those reflections. That's it.